Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point and we're going to discuss the history tool. So let's go ahead and learn this tool better. The history tool is used to restore a portion of an image to an earlier state while leaving the rest of the modified image alone. So for instance, you are working on an image and you won't wish you have done an effect but you don't like that effect on a particular option. Say you were basically working with the spot healing brush and while correcting the blemishes you've actually gone ahead and actually worked on any area maybe the lips or the eyes but you don't want that effect to remain on that area. So you can switch the art the history button and can start painting over your lips or the eye area to, the rem to remove the effect that you just created. So the hotkey is Y. When you press Y on your keyboard key, this history tool is activated. You can change the number of undo states by going through the preferences in the edit menu in Windows and Photoshop in Mac. So you can go ahead and change the number of undo states. By default it's 20, but you can go ahead, do it to 30, 40, whatever. Also, you can click in the far right column of the state and you can change the source of the history brush tool. So let's go ahead and understand the history tool better. History brush in Photoshop lets me go back to a previous state. So let me show you how. So this is my image with a woman with a lot of blemishes and I'm just going to show you in what cases you can use, a, you know, use this history brush. Now, so this is my uh, normal layer. I convert it to a normal layer and I've done a copy here. Now, let me select this, my healing brush tool, the spot healing brush tool to actually remove the blemishes. So this is such a big brush and so I can just keep doing it and my blemishes are removed. So this is a brush, spot healing brush can help us remove the blemishes. It just samples the textures around and help me remove the spots. So in case while I was going around and I've done most of my image, but just in case I somehow went here, I was just working around my lip and I somehow just went here. I was going fast and I just went here and it actually ruined my picture. So if I go back to my previous states, I will lose these touch ups and I'll have to go again. If I just do control all Z, which I can, but I'm going to go too far. I just want this part should be, you know, go back to the normal state, but I don't want to affect this normal state. In normal case, we, like I said, we'll do a control or Z and go back to the previous state, but I'm talking about this particular state, not these states. So what I'm going to do is after this, I've gone further. I've gone further. I don't want to disturb my other state. It's just the lips that I want to work on with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the history brush from here which has a shortcut tool of Y and I'm going to quickly paint here with my mouse selected. So you can see, so if there is one thing I want to go back to, I do not need to disturb others. So I've gone a lot of editing and I don't want to do control Z because I don't want to disturb my other things. So I can just simply go to the particular area, brush it like a normal brush tool. Also you can work, you know, reduce the opacity like a normal brush tool. You can reduce this flow. And uh, we also have this properties. You can go to Windows and press on History, and you can also go back to the state. So you can just go back to a particular state if you wish to. So the History brush comes very handy when you want to go to a particular state. So when in case in future you made a mistake on just one part, you can go ahead and use this History tool. The Art History tool does not actually do any undo like the history tool. It's basically to bring in the artistic effect from our image which is underlying the new image. So let's go ahead and understand the art history tool. The art history tool basically paint with stylized strokes using the source from the specified history state. So it's not undoing anything, it's just painting over with stylized strokes. So if I have an image and I place a paint, a, uh, you know, a colored image, a colored layer on my image and I start using the art history brush, it's going to create different strokes and artistic strokes using the history or the source from my image. It uses that data along with options. You want to set, create different colors and artistic styles 
and you can experiment with filters to achieve some amazing effects with Art History Tool. So let's go ahead and look at what is Art History Tool. The Art History Brush Tool in Photoshop basically takes my color from my picture and you know moves it around and gives us an artistic effect. So basically you will use it when you basically want to have maybe use the uh, color shades in your picture. So I can do control shift N to have my new layer. So I'm doing control shift N and I have a new layer or I can go to layer and create a new layer. So I see a layer air. here. I will go to the art history brush tool, select here. Uh, by default, I'll have my normal mode and I have these different styles. So if I have selected tight curl long and this is my tool, I'm just going to reduce the brush size. I'll go here and reduce my brush size. I can also use the curl uh, left braces. And if I start doing this, so you can see it just taking my colors from below and I'm having this as simple as that. Let me, so, you know, I can just go ahead, uh, use different types and have different types of effects if I want to. Now let me just remove this layer and have some other effects. I can do control shift and again, a new layer. I can change this to maybe tight shot I can increase the size and going here and increasing my size and then you know I can just have you know a shade of these colors all over around so basically you know you can keep trying and you know can have some artistic effects.